Welcome to Mathematics with Ms. Grade 12, DBE 2022, Final Paper 1, Question 1. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. So this is the information or so-called formula sheet. Please take note, this is important that whenever you answer any question, always consult this page to help you to make your problems easier. Question 6.1 12,000 rand was invested in a fund that paid interest at M% per annum compounded quarterly. So after 24 months, the value of the investment was 13,459 rand. You must determine the value of M. Of course, that is the percentage or the interest rate. 6.2. On 31st January 2022, Tino deposited 1,000 rand into an account that paid interest at 7.5% per annum, compounded monthly. He continued depositing 1,000 rand on the last day of every month. He will make the last deposit on the 31st of December 2022. Will Tino have sufficient funds in the account on 1st January 2023 to buy a computer that cost 13,000 rand? Justify your answer by means of an appropriate calculation. 6.3. Tabo plans a car that costs Two travel plans to buy a car that costs 250,000 rand. He will pay a deposit of 15% and take out a loan for the balance. The interest on the loan is 13% per annum compounded monthly. So you must calculate the value of the loan. And secondly, the first repayment will be made six months after the loan has been granted. The loan will be repaid over a period of six years after it has been granted. Calculate the monthly installment. So this is your first question on financial maths. Take note, 14 marks. So, 6.1. 12,000 rand was invested in a fund that paid interest at M% per annum compounded quarterly. After 24 months, the value of the investment is 13,459 rand. So this is clearly a typical grade 10 and 11 example where you must find the interest rate. So therefore, you use a formula for compound interest. A equals to P into 1 plus I to the power of N. And of course, A is the final amount, which is 13,459. P was the initial amount of 12,000. And of course, the percentage is M. And over 400, because it was compounded quarterly after 24 months. So you must ask yourself, how many quarters are there in 24 months? And that explains, because there's normally, not 24 months is two years. And there's normally four quarters in a year. So that explains the eight. And it explains the 400. Then you do your uh, simplification. You can, of course, divide both sides by 12,000. Then you can determine the eighth root on both sides. Then you can transfer the one to the right hand side. Please use the calculator in the end, preferably, to avoid premature rounding. And then you'll get 5,78%. 6.2. On 31st January 2022, Tino deposited 1,000 rand in an account that paid interest at 7,5% per annum, compounded monthly. He continued depositing 1000 on the last day of every month. He will make the last deposit on the 31st of December. Will Tino have sufficient funds in the account on 1st January 2023 to buy a computer that costs 13000 Justify your answer by means of an appropriate calculation. So, we, so you can immediately notice that here we do monthly deposits. So therefore it should remind you of your grade 12 formulas for annuities. And this is, of course, future value. So therefore, write down the formula for future value. Of course, x is 1,000 
I of course is 7,5 divided by 100, which is 0 0.075. And of course over 12, because it's deposited monthly to the power of 12 minus one over 0 0.075 over 12. This is pure calculator work. Take note guys. So the answer is 12,421 rand and 22 cents. So you won't be able to buy the computer because he still runs with a deficit of 578 rent and 78 cents. So he is running short. He can't make the 13,000 he needs. 6.3. Tabo plans, plans to buy a car that costs 250,000 rent. He will pay a deposit of 15% and take out the loan for the balance. The interest on the loan is 13,000 rent per annum compounded monthly. So you must first calculate the value of the loan. So therefore the loan, of course, remember it's 85% times the 250 rent, right? Remember a deposit of 15% was paid. So of course there's 85% left. So 85% of 250 gives you 212,500 rent, right? 6.32. The first repayment will be made six months after the loan has been uh, granted. So in this example, you need to look at the final value using the new uh, uh, principal amount. And of course, the interest is 0 0.13, which is 13 divided by 100 over 12, because they said monthly. And of course, to the power of 5. Right. Why to the power of five? Because it is done in six months. Right. So it's monthly. So therefore you get 224,262,53. Then you have to look at your present value formula. Because remember that is your present value. A is your present value. Right. So substitute P with the 224,262,53. Then of course, 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.13 over 12 to the power negative 64. Right. Okay. So divide by 0 0.13 over 12. And with a calculator, you should get 4724 and 96 cents. Right. Right. This is Ahmad Suleiman with Mathematics with Ams. Don't forget to give me a huge like. And don't forget to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.